Eat that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mike today and let your voice be heard. All right, I'm sure you can tell by the music that we are back in a high school gym on Friday night. It's Sierra Foothill League action. We're about ready to see the host Rockland Thunder take on your Folsom Bulldogs. I'm your uh, Max Preps announcer, Marlon Whitney. I have two partners here tonight, John Garoppolo and Gene Endicott. We're all amateurs, so please go easy on us. Uh, but as we get ready, we still got a couple of minutes before they get into the lineups. I'll go ahead and introduce you to John. John, any thoughts on tonight's game? No, this really should be a, a, a very good game. You know, really for could be a, a playoff uh, playoff style atmosphere here, and uh, really looking forward to a real tough battle in the SFL. All right, thank you, John. Mr. Gene, how about you? Any thoughts? I think one of the keys for Folsom tonight is to be slowing down the Rockland backcourt. The uh, two Rockland point guards. Roscoe and Andrews combined for 32 points in the last outing on January 12th. And uh, I think it's going to be key to Folsom getting over the hurdle tonight is to slow down, slow down that backcourt, force some of the other uh, Thunder players to step up and take more of the scoring load. Yep. Excellent point, Gene. Uh, the backcourt of Rockland, they're a complete team. I said last time after they beat Folsom by 13 uh, a few weeks back, they got two excellent backcourt players. A big man who was a load and tough to handle, and they're deep, and they run, and they come at you in waves. So we'll see if Folsom and their tried and true defense can slow down Rockland in the high scoring offense. All right, we're going to get ready to do the national anthem, so we'll go ahead and keep it here so people can listen in and honor America. more dawning the number of fans who are going to be rooting for Rockland or the size of their cheer squad. I mean, they this massive cheer support here. All right, we're going to get the starting lineups first. They're going to have the uh, Bulldogs. Bulldogs on the road. They're going to be wearing their red uniforms tonight with the white numerals. No Folsom identification other than the Bulldog emblem on the front. And we'll see if you can go ahead and pick this up. See who the lineups, the starting lineups for the games tonight. Ethan 
All right, the same starting five for Coach Wall, Ryder Lyons, Ethan Beregi, Chase Rollins, Kaiser Bowen, and Joe Von Dule. We'll talk more about each of those players, but I imagine it's going to get loud now as the Thunder are about to get introduced. Oh. And our lights are out. And we're going to go a little Chicago Bulls 1990-era music in the background as we introduce the starting lineup. If you're a high school player, this is an awesome atmosphere. I mean, you just can't help but get excited for playoff style, playoff style environment. are off. One thing I will say is an uh, article was written about Rockland coming out to a 23-0 and start. Coach Taylor notoriously wears a suit and tie to the game. So he's you know always had that formal Well, they started to win early in the season, in the preseason games. And he was wearing a um, he, he started wearing a polo and uh, like a sweat warm-up. And because they kept winning, they, they made him wear it. So now they've lost two games in a row. He's back to the suit and tie. All right, we're going to have a two-man crew. Rockland in the white with the blue trim. Ryder Lions are going to jump center against Labanoff. Ryder is going to give away many inches tonight, but he'll more than make up with it in physicality. And the jump is won by Rockland. A scrummish on the ball. I wonder if they're going to say who caught that. Kaiser Bowen has it on the ground. Jump ball. Jump ball. Yeah, we're already going to have our first debate of the night. They're going to say Rockland won the jump and had possession, and then they lost it, which means the next possession goes to the Folsom. Here we go, full court pressure. Rockland in man-to-man. -man. Folsom running their press bag. Drove on Dulé is the back safety valve to get it across. There's Chase Rollins. Chase sporting the orange shoes tonight. You wear orange shoes, you got to play well. Let's see how he does. Ryder Lions up top, backdoor cut through Chase's hand, stolen. Rockman has it on the turnover. Baseline's cut off. Three pointer. There's a three pointer. Oh, that didn't even hit the rim. Ryder, Ryder Lions runs down the rebound. That was Morosco. A lot of hands, no call. There's Chase Rollins for three. Good! Chase Rollins puts Folsom on the scoreboard. It's a 3 nothing game. Folsom going to go full court presser. The ball's on the ground. Oh, nice Tipped ball. away. Whoa. Josiah Andrews with the flutter cut. Both these guards are fantastic for Rockland. Let's just see how Folsom can slow him down tonight. After the ball was tipped and went into the backcourt, they got it. Went into the, there's Joe Von Dule for three. No good. Oh, we're going to stay here. We had a rebounding foul underneath. And that foul is going to be on uh, Connor DeLabby. That's his first. First team foul. Folsom will get a reset on the shot clock. Pass it in the corner. Ryder Lions drive. Oh, it spins out. Gets his own rebound. 
Kind of trapped in the lane. Oh. Lost the ball. A lot of contact. They're not calling very much at all. There's a drive. No good. Labanoff kept it. There's Mark Labanoff, the 6'8 junior. Quickly at the other end, Chase Rollins on a floater from the left side. He's got all five of Folsom's points. Rockland likes to go fast. It may look a little hectic, but their whole game plan is to wear you down. They'll just keep coming with more subs and usually play a little bit more people off the bench than uh, their, their opponents do. They go inside. They're trying to front Labanoff. Oh. And they're going to get a foul. The ball was tipped away on Labanoff. That's a tough foul. That's a tough call. Yeah, John, you're saying they're letting a lot of stuff go. They, they, they really are. They're letting them play right now. Very hectic. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see uh, uh, how Labanoff uh, plays underneath. That'll be the big, big difference in my eyes. Yep. There's Kaiser Bowen going to bring it up for Folsom. He's guarded by Labanoff. Back out top to Beregi. Beregi, the only senior on the Folsom squad. Picked up his dribble. Could have been a travel right there. 15 on the shot clock. Still time. Beregi's down. Inside to Bowen. Trapped on the baseline. He's going to go up strong with the right hit. Kaiser Bowen score the bucket. 7-4 to four, Folsom. I will say this, Folsom doesn't look afraid of the moment right here. They look like they came out to play. I know that loss to Del Oro on Wednesday night stung. They had a great chance to knock off Del Oro in overtime and didn't do it. There's Josiah Andrews. He's going to go baseline to Delabi. Oh. It won't go. People, Kaiser Bowen's on the ground. And they're going to play on. Ryder Lions has it. He's going to dribble it up. Up top. There's Bowen. He's going to walk into a three. Good! Kaiser Bowen. He's got five. Chase Rollins got five. There's a lob to Labanov. Score the bucket. He missed the first one, got his rebound, and put it back in. You know, Marlon, watching this game, you just can't help but think about the energy with which these high school guys come out in these games, able to sustain it for 32 minutes. Very impressive. Yep. I think at some point you're like, thank God for uh, foul shots so we can take a quick breather. Here's Labanoff trying to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Rims out. Ryder Lions with the rebound. It's Ten to six. Folsom with the lead. Still 440 to go in the quarter. Looks like a little bit of a zone now. Yep. Yep. John says, yeah, we're going to – Chase is inside, leaves his feet. Tried to hit it to Jovan, cutting baseline, out of bounds, turnover. Substitutions into the game. Scotty Nardinelli, he's going to try to take on uh, Josiah Andrews. That's quite a – he's kind of a little bit of a defensive stopper. There goes Andrews, floater, good. In the lane. That's his second floater of the night. He has four. Andrews looks like he could take his man right now in yeah. time. Yeah. Coach Wall's going to get a timeout. They were pressured in the backcourt, almost out of eight. They were at eight on the 10-second clown. Yeah, 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. Let's see if Gene has anything he wants you to know, say. You I, know, I, it's an impressive start for the Bulldogs on the road. Tough lead game. Come out here with this kind of start up two points, 10 8. It's a good start for those guys. Yeah, Folsom's, Folsom's led by uh, Chase Rollins and Kaiser Bone, each with five. Lavinoff has four after he missed the free throw. Uh, and Josiah Andrews has. Four. I'm sorry. Yeah, both four. 10 8 Folsom. Coach Wall, especially when you got the lead early, sometimes it's good just to settle folks down. And I think he really did that to avoid the 10 second count because it was uh, it was already at eight and they weren't across half court yet. Get the ball into Andrews. He's kind of dogged by Canyon Rice, the senior guard. There's Chase. Little dipsy dude to the right. Scoop shot. No good. Rice with the rebound. He's going to push. Kick it in the corner. That's Morosco. Oh, that was decided. That was 12. That was 12. He got it wrong. We got it right. He got it wrong. The, 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 the PA man. There's a steal. Steal by Andrews. Down the lane. Bob score. 
That was Josiah Andrews off the steal. Typical Rockland, score points and waves. This is Andrews' playground right now. All right, that foul's on Scotty, Scotty Nardinelli. This is Josiah Andrews finishes the three-point play. Suddenly it's 14 to 10. Since the timeout, it's 6-0 Rockland. On the three, the, the three-point shot three in the old-fashioned three. They scored six straight. Oh, there's a drive by Jack Shaw. Turned it over. Left his feet again. Canyon Rice has with the steal. Also into the game, Connor Bow. He gets a lot of minutes off the bench. Gonna go over to Andrews. There's the mid-range. Pull up. No good. Could have been over the top on Lavinoff. Good, good box out by Joe Von Dule. He's normally a rebounding machine. And there's a steal. Morosco lay it in with the left hand. Pick Chase Rollins' pocket. There's Joe Von. Oh. Could have been a travel, could have been a foul. Got the foul. You know, it seems more than like Rockland likes playing at this faster pace. It's working well for him right now. See if they can keep it up. Yeah, sometimes it may not feel like you're pulling away, but secretly you're wearing them down and then get to that second half. Joe Von Dule is at the line. He's in the scorebook on the first free throw. Just broke a 10-0 run, so that was good to stop the bleeding a little bit here yep. for Paulson. Scotty Nardinelli's out. LJ Bridges has checked in. Kaiser Bowen back in. We got two reserves, LJ Bridges and Jack Shaw. Joe Vaughn must be a good free throw shooter. He shot the technical in a previous game, so that's usually you want your best free throw shooter. All right, 16 to 12. Folsom stops a little bit of a run. It's 245 to go here in the quarter. Looking for Labanoff. He's fronted. They lob it to oh, him. Nice. There's a steal by LJ Bridges. Gonna push it ahead. Throws it over to Chase. Turns down the three, mid-range, good. Chase Rollins, he's got seven. I've said many times this year, as Chase Rollins goes, so goes the Bulldog offense, and he's off to a great start tonight. LJ Bridges has got the task of trying to guard Josiah, Josiah Andrews. There's Rice, gonna go on Jack Shaw. Lost it, gets it back. That could have been a foul, no call. LJ Bridges with the rebound. Ahead to Jovan, floater in the way. Jovan Dulé. It's a track meet, 16 16, two minutes to go in the quarter. Here we go. Kaiser Bowen is on Andrews this trip. And we're going to get a foul. We got a whistle. That's going to be on Jack Shaw. That's his first. I'm surprised they called a whistle. I know. They've been going. All right, here comes some subs. Morosco's back in, and for the first time, Reeves Sloan, sophomore guard at 6'2", in for Rockland. Bolson going to keep their – actually, uh, Jack Shaw is out after committing the foul, and Ethan Beregi back in for the Bulldogs. All right, here we go, 145, we're tied at 16. There's a oh, pull-up on the mid-range. I always raved about the mid-range game, and now he, a little bit of backcourt pressure. Josiah Andrews missed. Coach Wall begging for some calls already because of the physical nature of play. There's Jovan for three. No good. Off to the left. There goes Rockland. Going to push it ahead. Inside. Underneath. Oh, score the bucket. That's a, Asaya Elston. You know, that was a... That was a close call, Marlon. He, he almost got there, but I think it was just a little too far under the hoop. Oh, they call, the they did call an offensive oh. foul. Oh. Sorry to Isaiah Elston as I erased the two next to his. Oh, no. they. What, what else did they call? Down? They called a technical. technical. So that the basket does count. I don't know who the who was the foul on. I'm sure they're sorting this out at the table, but in our vantage point, we don't know. Other than Elston is at the line and he makes it, so he completes a three point play. I think they called a technical on Rockland. Oh, it's two. Oh, 
the guy who was fouled. Oh, okay. I got a little help here in the stands. Looked like even though Elston got the three-point play and he went through it. I, I said earlier, Joe Bond's a good free throw shooter because he shoots the technical, and within 30 seconds, he was shooting the technical. So, so Elston made the move that pushed the ball up court beautifully. I don't even think the ball may have hit the ground. Long lead pass, threw it down the, the post, running the lane, scored, went right through the defender. But in the end, it's a technical on Elston. So two two more free throws. Joe Bondule has six. A three point play gives it nineteen to eighteen lead. Jovan Joe Bon Dulay's Joe bon uh, got a cut and he's bleeding. They're gonna have to tend to him. So Ryder Lyon's gonna come back. One nineteen to go in the quarter. It'll be a Folsom ball after the technical at midcourt. I see the two quarterbacks are covering each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. There's LJ Bridges for three. Back rim, no good. Beregi with the rebound. Kind of a garbage rebound. He put it up and in. He was in the lane. Folsom goes back in the lead with a minute to go in the quarter. 20 to 19. Typical Rockland dribble drive. They're going to just keep driving on you. There's... Number tw There's a fight for the rebound. Now Beregi gets it. Kaiser Bowen boxed out Labanoff well. They're giving away size, but they're doing well. LJ Bridges for three. In and out. No good. Rebound Ryder Lions. Inside to Bowen from about 15. Good. Kaiser Bowen. He's steady Eddie. He's got seven in the quarter. Inside of 30 seconds. Shot clock is off. Let's see if Rockland holds for one. This is against their nature to not go fast, so we'll see what happens here. So Marosco up top, guarded by LJ. Here's Connor Bow. Oh, almost an errant pass. Down inside of 10 now. Let's see. Canyon Rice is going to shoot a three. No, he's going to pass it into Labrinov. Score it. If he gets the ball down low. Folsom just has no answer for that. Score the bucket, foul on Ryder Lions. They're, they're boxing uh, Lavinoff off, but they're, if those entry passes get yeah. in, they're, they're uh, too easy for them. Right good now. point. They got to go. We got a 2.1 to go. Lavinoff's free throw is good. See what Folsom can do anything with two minutes. We got to get the ball in bounds first. There's LJ Bridges, gonna throw it. Long pass, that wasn't gonna go anywhere. All right, we've played it. we played a fast and frantic first quarter here in Rockland. The offenses have showed up, the defenses are doing okay, but offenses are winning at this point. But we don't have a winner, we're tied at 22. We'll be right back after this. Working okay? Oh yeah. All right, we're back here in Rockland. Bolson Bulldogs taking on the Rockland Thunder. Getting ready to start the second quarter. Gene, what are your thoughts on the first quarter? You know, I think coming over here tonight, if you had said to Folsom you're going to be tied at the end of one quarter, I think they would have taken that. Yeah, that's a good point, especially if they knew they had given up 22 points. Well, they're matching them on offense. They got to figure out how to stop the three-headed monster that is Morosco, Andrews, and Labernoff. Here's Lavinoff up top. Running a little high pick and roll. Oh. Roscoe's going to go baseline. Lavinoff, he can handle the ball at 6'8. Going to try to back him down. Kick it. Folsom playing some good D. There's still 10 on the shot clock, though. They're trying to front Lavinoff. Let's see if they can. that helps them. 
The mid-range, no good. Good rebound by DeLobby. Over to Rice for three. Spins out. Labanoff rebound. Back up and in. They had boxed him out, but he just goes over people. Not in a bad way, like a foul. He's just taller than everybody. Oh. We got a foul away from the ball. Labernoff and Ryder Lions going at it, and they're going to call a foul on Ryder Lions. I will tell you this. Ryder's only a sophomore, and he's more of a football player than he is a basketball player, but he's a heck of an athlete, and he is a target. Every time he comes out, people want to get under his skin, see what they can come up with. Jasper Wu into the game, kind of a defensive specialist, to see what he can do now on Josiah Andrews is he's going to run point. A lot of dribble. Here goes Andrews. Over to Rice. There's a steal, almost a steal. There's a three. That's no good. Oh, no. Oh, wait, they did call it. The referee's got a rebounding foul. He's going to get that on. He's going to get that on 11. That's Connor DeLaby. The referee pointed to the ground, and I think he meant, I'm calling the, in the NBA when they do that, that means we're staying here. You're not going to the other end of the court. And Mike Wall reacted pretty violently to that, but they, they did get the call on Rockland, so it'll be Folsom Ball. Here's Beregi into the game, over to Bowen. Jasper Wu, passing game. Chase Rollins going to... Turn, turn down a three, stepped oh. in, no good. Oh, oh and Joe, Joe Bondule at inside yeah, position. And that foul is going to be on Labernoff, and that's his second. You're good right there. Bolson's going to go in their box set. They're already going to take Labernoff out of the game, and Nolan Turner, this 6'8 junior. Must be nice to have a six-eight player get in foul trouble and bring another six-eight player off the bench. Absolutely, not too many. There's Beregi for three. Back rim, no good. Bowen rebound, and he's just smacked in the face, and there's no call. That was a good rebound by Kaiser to go up and get the long rebound off Beregi's missed three. Mike Wall's asking for what happened there too. Yeah, I know. Arm stretched out. It's a two-man crew. They can only see so much. There's an it stole the steal right off the Carrasco. I'm sorry, that's Andrews. One's 12, one's 13. They could be brothers. They look very similar. I'm going to have to figure out who's who here. But a nice steal of pushing ahead. Rockland's up four now. Jasper Wu looked to move the ball. Bowen, turn around, jumper. Good. It's a nice looking shot. A little bit of a fadeaway. Trying to create some uh, space. Good offensive movement. There's Rockland running another high pick and roll. This is Marasco, going to go with a lot of dribble. Oh, and there's a steal, but they don't get it. Inside, and there's Connor Ball. Score it. Ball's knocked away, and Folsom started to run the other way, but they didn't have possession. 28-24. Bowen pumping into the lane. To Dulé, it's knocked away. was a good idea. The guy's pumping. He got him up in the air and was by him. Here's Scotty Nardinelli back in the game for Folsom, replacing Jasper Wu. So baseline out of bounds. Inside to Bowen with the left hand. Nice, nice execution on the inbound play. You know, I think they're taking advantage of Lavernoff being off the floor right yeah. now. They've got more. There's a steal. Cross court pass stolen by Chase Andrews. Like an AAU game, they're not calling anything. Joe Bondule scores on the fast break. We're tied at 28. A lot of reaching, a lot of pushing. The refs are just like, oh, play on. We're good. All right. Bolson making a difference with their D. That could be a foul right there on the bump. Let's see how their offense goes without Labernoff in the game. Should be more guard dominated. Uh -huh. and, oh. Andrews with a nice cut, drew it, dished it underneath. 
I'm, I'm finding my my uh, self mesmerized by number thirteen, Josiah Andrews. Well, I'll tell you, you think he's a good player now? Just remember, he's only a sophomore. He was something last year as a freshman. This is Elston. He had the three point play earlier, and then had his. Uh, Time in the penalty box after the technical, but he's come back. He's a presence. Last time they played Folsom, they had him and Lavinoff in the game at the same time, and that was really a lot for Folsom to handle. Misses the second free throw, so it's a one-point game. Auckland's going to press off the miss. There goes Beregi, trying to go too fast. Doesn't pick up the ball. He got lucky. 25 on the shot clock. You could argue that that could be a 10-second count. If I was on the Rockland bench, I would say, I don't think they ever want to cross half court. All right, here comes Tariq Lofton, number zero. They are having a huddle right now. And that could be, when you like the call, you never like when there's a huddle. <laughs> I just Let's just play. That's what Mike Wall said. 10 second count. <laughs> this is where we would say, you're assuming the shot clock was absolutely correct. All right, because the ball is out of bounds, they hadn't crossed half court. There was 25 on the shot clock. They said, I can do math. That should be 10. All right, it's a turnover. There's Elson up top, a lot of high pick and roll. Cut off of the high post. Here comes Andrews again. Yeah, he is shifting. He made a lot and lost it. Three Lofton with the hand. There's Connor Bow for three. Short. No good. Oh, he had a chance to save it. Kaiser Bowen tried to screen him out. It's good that he followed his shot. It is, it is impressive to see uh, Rockland go without the big man and still be able to function well. Yeah. I will say the pace has slowed down a little. I mean, we're not on a 22-point pace right now. We played half a quarter, and it's 7-6 uh, to six in the quarter for Rockman. Stule over to Chase. Pump fake. Drives the lane. Right-handed scoop from the left side. That's his first point of the second quarter. Here goes Andrews. He's just, oh, he's going a mile a minute. Lost the ball. Push it ahead. Here's Lofton. Folsom's got numbers. Chase for three. No good. Rebound, Joe Von Dule. Oh, and he's hacked inside. You want to pay with play with pace if you're Rockland, but you got to stay under control. He was a lot of control on that one. Yeah. Good point, team. Got a, got a little bit of a break here with the free throws. Catch our breath. I gotta get a better union at the pace they're going at this point. Hulay has been a uh, very consistent on the boards and at the foul line in his shooting. So, um, very impressed with his uh, game so far. He's got nine now as he knocks down the first free throw. He's got ten. He's got six made free throws in the first half. Here goes Rockland off the made. Made free throw. That's Marasco, guarded by Nardinelli, trying to stay low. Pretty good D. Here's Rice. The thing about the dribble driver, the high pick, they're just going to keep making you play defense for the whole 35. There's a long three, a short. Bowen runs down the rebound. Push it ahead to Nardinelli. Looks for Dulé. Drives the lane. Oh, they're going to get an offensive foul on Jovan. Didn't see much contact there, but they said he got him after. It's the first foul on Jovan. Only the second team foul. Actually, I got three. That's the third team foul on Folsom. Three team fouls each. We're just inside of three minutes. Folsom 32, Rockland 29. Crowd not as much into it. There's a good move by Josiah. He blew the chippy. He, went, he did all the hard work, and he had about a two-footer on the right side as he kind of pushed Lofton down to the floor a little bit, or Lofton slipped. If you're a Folsom fan and you can hear the coaches yelling, that's a good sign because it means the crowd is not yelling and really into the game loudly. There's Morosco. Over to Sandu. 
And the rebound by Andrews. Right back to Andrews. Guarded by Bowen. 13 on 13. Going to kick it back out to Rice up top. Folsom scrambling on D. I don't know if they know who they have. Rebound by Jovan, and there's going to be a foul on the rebound. Jovan is a scrappy rebounder. He does a lot of dirty work, and he's fluid in his shot. So, very good player. That's going to be three on Isaiah Elston. Two fouls, and then the technical counts as a personal in high school. So, he's got three. Jack Shaw back into inbound against the press. Oh, and throw it right to Chase, right through his hands, out of bounds. Turnover, Folsom. You're going to get turnovers against a pressure D, but you don't like to just give them to him. Like, that one was a little bit of a gift. There goes Rockland. There's Andrews. He's guarded by Lofton. They go back out top. They got Nolan, Nolan Turner in as their big man right now. Well, there's a cross-court pass stolen by Chase. The long arms push it ahead. Lofton in the lane. No good. Joe Vaudelaire. He's there to clean it up with the offensive rebound and put back. And Folsom has their biggest lead of the game at five. I think man to get down the court paid off on that one. Yep, that's a good hustle. He's rewarded for his hustle. The basketball gods knew he was hustling. There it goes in the lane. Andrews, nice shooting touch. Bounce around a rim a couple of times. The lost art of the mid range. Josiah Andrews is ready to score two points at a time. I find it very interesting that uh, Coach Taylor's keeping Laren off, 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 off the floor for probably the, yeah. the entire uh, second quarter here. Good point. Sometimes coaches will. Here we go. Dulé for three. No good. Rebound. Shaw could have been on his back. No call. Rockland's going to push. 115 to go in the quarter. There's Rice up top to Morosco. There's Rice for a corner three. Long. Gets his own rebound in the corner. He's trapped. Back up top to Morosco. That's no good. Rebound by Sindhu. Well, Rockland's going to get their third opportunity. He wants to clear the whole right side so he can go. Good move. Martinelli took the charge. He got by the first guy, and the second help defense was Scotty Nardinelli. I think he might have caught a little bit of break on that call. I looked to me like he was off his feet, but the refs gave it to him anyway. In the old days, that would have been a pair of socks for the Folsom player. You take a, take a charge, get a free pair of socks. The Bulldog logo socks. All right, we're 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Lofton going to bring it up against Connor Bow. Got the quickness. Looking to dribble. In the lane, dish it off. LJ Bridges, beautiful give and go. Or a nice dish. LJ Bridges in the scorebook with two. Shot clock is off. 22 in the, 22 in the half. There's Josiah Andrews guarded by Chase. Gonna try to go. Lost the ball. Joe Von Dulay with five to go. Give it to Chase. The running. Oh, inside to Dulay. He laid it up and in. Joe Von Dulay. The garbage man is rewarded. Chase Rollins tried a running three that was way too early, and he was guarded, and there was no way that it was going to get there. And the loose ball fell on the floor, and Joe, by the basket, Joe Von Dulé scooped it up. All right, we're going to go halftime. Before they start playing some music, we'll get our thoughts from uh, John and Gene. John, what do you think of the first half? You know, very hectic half. Very impressed with Folsom's uh, ability to weather the storm. Uh, Rockland, they look they're, they look a little uh, like out of control at times. It looks flashy. I think they uh, miss Laren off in that uh, second quarter. It's going to be a barn burn down the stretch. Yep. Gene, what do you think? I mean, Folsom uh, clearly comfortable with the fast pace. I think one of the keys for the second half is going to be to keep Lavernoff under wraps. He's already equal his scoring output from the last time they met in nine points. Their ability to keep him under control, I think, is going to be key to them pulling this one out. All right. The cheer squad has taken over the floor. There's at least, there's at least 40 cheerleaders out there. It's quite impressive. 
Okay, 40 may be an exaggeration. All right, we're going to have a quick break. We're going to take about a three, four minute break. We'll come back. We'll give you the first half totals. But our score at halftime, Folsom, 38. They've come into the Thunder's gym and they lead by seven. Rockland is 31. We'll be right back after this break. The fall season is here and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mike today and let your voice be heard. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games to action on the volleyball court to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mic today and let your voice be heard. We're back here in Rockland, California, where the Rockland Thunder just went into halftime. We got about five minutes left on the uh, halftime break. Take a quick advantage of the no music while the cheer squad. I got got a cheer squad and a dance squad. Don't ask me. My uh, expertise ends at basketball. I'm not good on cheer. We we do have some uh, local local. Rockland uh, youth are getting ready to play some uh, games. Of course, they're all in white uniforms, so that may be a problem. So we'll we'll see how it goes. See, the only they're probably gonna, they're only going to get about two minutes of game time. I got to do a little shooting exposition. That's probably even better. Yeah, 
I'll just I'll add this while we're waiting for the while halftime festivities continue here in Rockland. Our score, Folsom 38, kind of a surprise here at halftime. They had a seven point lead, Rockland 31. But people ask me all the time, why do why do certain programs always do well year after year? If you're here at Rockland right now and you're watching, you're going to say, oh, this is why. They got a great theater program. They got all the young kids in Rockland get interested in basketball at an early age. And hopefully they get some good coaching and then they're, they're ready made by the time they get to the middle school, high school level. All right, we're going to do, we'll do the point totals here in just a sec when they come out for the warm ups. But, uh, John, any uh, any thoughts so far in the first half? Well, just uh, you know, a very well played game. Two competitive teams. I mean, it's Sierra Foothill basketball, the best league in the in the uh, in the section. And just think, next year it's going to get even tougher when Jesuit Marauders end up. In it. So, we, for those of you who had halftime on the over-under of when John would mention Jesuit, it was uh, 233 to go in the uh, halftime. But uh, John and Gene, both great guys, had kids who went through the Jesuit uh, programs and uh, can't say nothing about nothing bad about that school and great young men that they raised. So, Gene, what are your thoughts on the first half? You know, fast pace, obviously, we're at 38-31 at half. Uh, both teams stayed in a man-to-man -man, uh, the entire first half. It's interesting to see if either uh, coach wants to mix that up a little bit in the second half, maybe change the pace a little bit. But I think the Bulldogs got to be happy right now. Yep, I would agree. Good points, both. It's nice having some help here. I don't have to be the one who talks all the time, even though I talk all the time. So, uh, Bolson's out of the locker room. They can't take over the court because uh, the Rockland youth are finishing up their shooting shooting display. We'll go ahead and give you a quick – got about a minute and a half here, so I'll give you a quick totals. First for Folsom, uh, Ryder Lyons did not score, although his presence was felt, obviously. He has two fouls. That will be something to keep in mind. Coach Wall had him on the bench and saved him a little bit. Ethan Beregi has two. Chase Rollins, he had – Seven in the first quarter, two in the second. He's got nine at halftime. Kaiser Bowen has 11. It's a very steady game. Don't always get points from Kaiser, but you know what he's going to bring to the table. Uh, and he's actually been uh, a nice offensive threat that's caused Rockland to have to worry about him. LJ Bridges has two off the bench. And Joe Von Dule with 14, including six free throws. Got the last bucket right before the halftime. He's been a steady Eddie. He leads Folsom. They already have two people in double figures and Chase with nine. Folsom scored 16 in the second quarter after a 22-point first quarter. And Rockland was held to nine points in the second quarter. For Rockland, Isaiah Elston has four. Marasco only has five. He didn't score in the second quarter. The senior guard of the dynamic duo guards. Josiah... Andrews was as advertised. He has 11. The sophomore guard looks looks excellent again. Connor Bow had two, and then Lavinoff had nine. And as Gene pointed out earlier, he only had nine the entire game last time because, again, he was in foul trouble. So Coach Taylor, I think John brought up the point, he let him sit for a long time with two, especially when you thought maybe they could have used him back in the game. But we'll see if that strategy pays off. Uh, Bolson did a similar thing with uh, Ryder, Lions as well, too. All right, on the alternate possession, I think it's supposed to be Folsom ball. They're going to go left to right in high school. I say this every week, but in high school, you go toward your bench in the second half. So there'll be offense right in front of the, the Folsom bench to our right here. And Rockland obviously will go to the left, but Folsom's going to inbound the ball first. Let's see if we can keep up that pace. 38-31, we start the second half. All right, up top, there's Chase Rollins, the Beregi passing game. Rockland in the man-to-man. -man. They leave Chase Rollins free for three. No good. Jovan with the rebound. No good. Gets his own rebound again. Score it. Jovan Dulay. 
There goes Labanov. Oh, oh it's spun off the rim. He went right hand on the left side. Here goes Chase. Chase normally knocks down that three. Going to drive, spin, scoop. No good. Ryder Lions rebound. Ball's blocked. He's knocked down. That's not going to scare Ryder. He's been knocked down before. He's up. Folsom's going to get an extra possession here. They have a nine-point lead, 40 to 31. Folsom began to run that. They run in that box set where they start two players in the block, two on the elbow. They started to run their play before they ever even gave him the ball. Varegi's kind of trapped. Baseline. Floater. Short. No good. Tipped around. That's going to be Andrews. Andrews is 13. He drives. Strong. He's fouled. Wow. That could be a prelude to what we'll see the second half. Know. He took the ball strong to the hoop. So That fouls on Ethan Beregi. He now has three. That Rockland backcourt is tough. Combined for 32 in the last outing against Folsom. The key for the Bulldogs is going to be to see if they can keep them from going off in the second half. Yeah. Missed the free throw. No good. Rockland to the rebound. There's Rice for three. Get Daniel Rice on the board. There's a good way to get back. That's a five point possession. I don't know what the whistle was for. They're going to check, and now they're going to let Tariq Lofton into the game. They're going to come in for Beregi, who has three fouls. Full court press. Yeah, they got the score right. 40 36. Yep, full court press. There's Bowen. They're going to try to double team him over to Ryder. Lofton. Oh, we had to turn down the layup. Give it out to Lions. Oh, Chase. Show me the fake and score it on the runner in the lane with a little scoop. Folsom crowd likes that as he's right in front of the bench. And they're, they're gonna Folsom gonna double team in the background. See if they can get Andrews. He's so fast, he's gonna run away from the double team. Over to Rice. There's a long three, no good. That was Delabi. Lofton, a lot of contact. Up top, Jovan Dule for three, no good. Lavinoff, he's just taller than everybody else, gets the rebound. Push it ahead. No good. And it's a Folsom ball out of bounds. That was, that was good hustle by Rollins to get back. Folsom looked, or excuse me, Rock looked like they had a fast break. The hustle paid off there. I was, yeah. That's one thing you always say in the Folsom team, we're big on defense, is uh, defense never takes – your effort can't take the night off. You can you can miss some shots, but you got to keep playing defense the whole time. That foul is on Josiah Andrews. That could be a little bit of a developing story, but it's only a second. I had him as two. The scoreboard has him as one. I may, I may tend to err with the uh, scoreboard since I'm Mr. Unofficial on the stat, so. Uh, don't, uh, don't sell yourself short. All right. There goes Chase baseline. Going to back down. It's, oh, a nice dish to do. Jovan Dulé finishes. Jovan's got four in the quarter, 18 in the game. There's a cross-court pass. Inside, Connor Bow drives. Score it. We're back to our frantic. Must be every first and third quarter. We're going to go 100 miles an hour. There's Ryder Lyons. Got Kaiser Bowen. Pump fake. Going to drive. Oh, he lowered his shoulder. They got an offensive foul. I'm not sure about that one, Marlon. It looked yeah. like uh, there definitely was Con Rockland. I'm not sure he got there on that, but yeah. Bulldogs will take it. I will say this, he did lose his balance, and he was. it, it may have looked worse because he was leaning into the player with his shoulder. But I think more of it, it wasn't really what he was trying to run him over. He was just lost his balance a little bit. Anyway, turnover, Folsom up six. There's Rice, man. He's just trying to back down Nardinelli. I'm still letting a lot of things go. There's inside, it looks, and there's Labrinoff to clean it up and in. In the end, he's the great equalizer. If he gets the ball anywhere near four feet, he's almost unstoppable. 
He's, he's guarding Lions. Chase into the lane, spin back out to Nardinelli. Up top to Lofton. Here goes Rollins. Turn, fade, tough shot, score it. Chase Rollins, he's feeling it now. A tough shot, turn, spin away from the basket and fade away as you shoot. Inside Lavinoff, guarded, they're gonna double team him. Back up top, it's delay. He really wants to get the ball to Lavinoff and he does. Holds the ball up high. Back out over in the corner. Andrews up top. There's a long three. Hit the backboard. Lobbing up. Look at Tariq Lofton fight for that ball. Comes up to Ryder Lions. Inside. Oh, nice pass underneath. Chase, pump bay, and he's fouled. That foul is going to be on Kenyon Rice. Chase Rollins is doing everything for Colson. As I say, Chase makes him go. And the thing is, when he scores, he just draws so much attention. And then when the defense collapses on him, he's unselfish enough that he's going to give it he's up. He's feeling it. He's yep. feeling it. He's making the right play every time he touches the ball. Chase Rollins makes the first free throw. Substitutions in. Morasco got the white, has the white high socks. And Josiah's got the red. Okay, team, there's Ryder Lyons. The put back. Oh, that's got to be something. The scrum. Ch Chase Rollins missed the second free throw. Folsom is crashing the boards, and they're really doing a great job of equalizing Larinov. Uh, Unfortunately, that falls to Lavernoff, and now he's going to have three. Let's see what Coach Taylor's going to do here. Got a little bit of a decision point. Ryder Lions had the rebound, tried to push it back up. And really what it did is it led to Jovan Dulay. Jovan is familiar territory. He's going to the free throw line. Unofficially, he's got six free throws. I got him. I think he, I don't know that he's missed, but now I just jinxed him. So we'll see how he does. He has a sweet stroke. He does have a nice looking stroke. Oh, a little bit of rim, but it was, it was in front rim, back rim, and in. The iron was kind. The though. iron was kind. All right, they are going to take Lavernoff out, and they're going to bring in Rohan Sibu. I think I said Sidu. It's Sibu. Jovan's second free throw. He missed it. I did jinx him. Here goes Andrews. Going to be guarded by – he's going to go hard. Kick it back out. Drive and kick. That's what they do. Drive. Kind of out of control, and they're going to give it to him. That's Kenyon Rice. Score the bucket. Oh, they're going to call that on Ryder Lions. That's a tough one. You know, Andrews is just consi consistently getting downhill. He's putting a lot of pressure on the Folsom D. And right now they got a three-point opportunity. Yep. There's the made free throw. Kenyon Rice didn't score in the first half. He's got six in the quarter. The senior said, I don't want to see a three-game losing streak. I'm done it too. He wants to win win tonight. Riders get Lions gonna have to watch himself now because and there's a turnover. Chase into the lane, tried drew the attention and tried to kick it, but he was guarded. And that was an errant pass right to the Folsom bench for turnover. For as frenetic as this game has been, not many turnovers. Right. Good point. There goes Andrews. Ah, just a runner. Push. Lions with the rebound. Looks to go. Kicks it ahead to Chase. Going to set it up. Going to go thumbs down and see what they do. They're going to go high pick and roll. Lions. Now that Chase waves them off. They're getting a five count. Let's see. He's going to go to the left. Step back. Give it to Lofton. Lofton's going to shoot a three. No good. Scotty Nardinelli fights for the rebound. It goes to Ryder. Lions. Score it. He's in the book. This first basket of the night. 50 to 33, Folsom with the seven point lead. There's a step back three. Oh, that's good. Kenyon Rice. I said step back. He stepped sideways. Pump fake, went to his left, shot it. He's got nine in the quarter. He had zero at half. He looked like a quarterback there, just moving in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. 
Inside to Rollins, and he's going to get fouled. Let's see who we got that foul on. 13. That's Andrews. I had him for three. I obviously missed the one in the first half because he has two fouls in the quarter. Three fouls would be an interesting story. Chase Rollins. Not much arc on that, but it still looks good. Going right in on the free throws. Brawling. Yeah, good call, John O. First time uh, in the game tonight, number 22, Mason Brawley, big man. Chase missed the second free throw. Here goes Rockland. They're going to go fast. There's Rice again. Oh. Score it. He's on fire. Burn the sprinklers on. Canyon Rice has 12 in the quarter. It's a two point game. Folsom 51, Rockland 49. There's Rollins. Up top. Oh, they're going to get an illegal screen. On Brawley. Brawley made his presence felt. A little bit of a momentum shift here, Marlon. Yeah. That was a quick hook. LJ Bridges is going to come in the game. We're going to get a 30 second timeout. Thunder. All right, exactly two minutes to go. We got 10 minutes left in this barn burner. It's Folsom 51, Rockland 49. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Well, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to say that. Uh... All right, we are back. Rockland with a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Here goes Andrews against Nardinelli again. Up top, he throws, picked off. Chase Rollins going to drive. Knocked away by Rice. Coach Wall is going to have to go sit out. He is not happy with that. It looked like they were riding him a little bit. I will say this, the, the steal and the... Push to the other end. They were ahead of the referee, so he didn't have the greatest angle. There's Chase. He's going to shoot a three. That's short. Nardinelli runs down the rebound. Oh. Goes to Delay. Oh, an oh. offensive foul. Wow. Coach Wall's going to wear out the sideline right now because he's pacing back and forth. I will say it's a tough call. That they let. So much go, and then they call. It looked like he lost the ball, but then they go offensive foul. There was contact. He ran into him. There's going to go Andrews. Pick it back up top to Bo. Scoop oh. in the lane. Score it. Connor Bo. They're tied at 51 with 120 to go. The Folsom leads evaporated. Nardinelli goes to... Coach Wall not happy with that one. He tried to hit LJ Bridges down on the post. Turnover Folsom. Rockland with a chance to take the lead. Here goes Andrews again. He's only got two points in the quarter and two fouls, but he still makes his presence felt. So he's breaking down the defense. Connor Bow. Score the ball. They're gonna that look like a continuation. That foul's on Beregi. I think that's four on Ethan. Connor Bow going to the line. Connor Bow's got six. I'll tell you this. Rockland has come back and they've taken the lead by two. Bow's free throw is good. Andrews has two. Morosco has not scored. And Lavinov has two in the quarter. And they're outscoring Folsom right now. Not having the big man in has it's these guys to put the up their thing and yeah. they're doing it. Down low, there's Bridges. You're going to go baseline. He stepped out of bounds. Turnover. It's one thing when you're missing shots. It's another thing when you're not even getting shots. So 
Beregi out of the game with four fouls. We're getting to that point of the game where turnovers are magnified. Got to take yep. care of the ball. Here's a good little offense for defense move for Coach Taylor. He's going to bring Lavinov back in for the last 39 seconds of the quarter because Rockland has the offensive possession. He's also going to do it when Ryder Lyons is out of the game. Here's, they can't run it down to the last second, not that Rockland would anyway. They're going to do a little bit of the passing game offense. It's going to end up with Andrews up top, guarded by Lofton. There he's going to go to the right, into the lane, kind of lost his step. There's Labanoff with a rebound. Missed it. Offensive rebound. Labanoff gathered. Missed it again. That's where that size comes into play. Right They're going to get that foul on LJ Bridges. I just don't know that there's much you can do with his long arms and where he's getting that ball. He missed the free throw. 8.3 in the quarter, so Folsom's going to have their last chance here. Lavinoff for the second free throw. Good. Get it into Chase. Let's see if he can go. Going to go down the left sideline all the way. Scoops it. LJ Bridges in the corner. No good. Had a chance. He was actually trying to feed the ball to Nardinelli. and they got tipped and went right in the corner. That would have been a fortunate break for Folsom. All right. Quite a turn of events there in the third quarter. Rockland now has a four-point lead. So we're going to take a break as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Our score, Rockland 55, Folsom 51. We'll be right back. Outreach. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. We're back. We are ready to go. Final eight minutes from Rockland. The Thunder surged ahead by a 24 to 13 third quarter and have a four point lead, and they're going to get the ball first possession. Folsom looks like they're going to be in a little bit of a zone, a little bit of a trapping zone, maybe. Let's see how Rockland does with that. If it can keep the ball out of Labanoff's hands, that might be an okay thing. That's Morosco. Morosco up top. Get to Labrador's going to shoot a three. No good. Rebound. Oh, they look oh. like they're on their back and they just let him go. Andrews just took it away from Chase Rollins on the baseline. A little bit of a trap. Morosco. Connor Bow. Folsom. There's the mid range. Good. Morosco. First points of the second half. He's got seven. It's a six-point lead. Rockland, 57-51. Let's see what Folsom has. It looks like they're a little bit out of sync on that third-quarter offense. Kaiser Bowen he didn't score in the third quarter. They might need a little bit from him. There's Chase trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Going to kick it in the corner to Bowen. Looking, trying to get it inside. Goes the Lions. Kick to the corner. Varegi, three! Ethan Beregi. Very good offensive flow there. Yeah, it was good. Everybody Very touched the ball. Right now we're in the ladder off. Inside. Pass it. Score it. 20. That's Reeve Sloan. Reeve Sloan, first bucket of the game. 
59-54, Ryder, left hand, no good. In the lane. Here goes Andrews, Eurostop, score it. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and Rockland's still going like their first day of practice running wind sprints. A little bit of a lead now, seven points. There's Chase, he's going to drive. Thought it could have been a jump ball, but they're going to get a foul on Andrews. Third personal. Not a huge concern, but something to watch. Chase is going to go Chase, to the line. Chase needs to bury these to you know, stop the bleeding a little bit here. Yeah, Folsom down seven. First free throw is good. Chase had 15 at the end of three. They did take Andrews out. Yep. It's a safe play, especially if you have the lead at this point. They're going to take Andrews out. Reeves slow. They got Connor Bow. Connor Bow's back in. Kenyon Rice was the man of the third quarter. He had 12 points in the comeback. Both free throws good by Chase Rollins. Bolson pressing. Push it ahead. There's a long pass. Turnover. First time Bolson's press has created a turnover in quite a while. That'll help. 61 56. They're down five with 5.45 to go in the game. Tariq Lofton into the game. He's going to bring it up. Quick, small point guard going to go over to Dulé. Going to shoot a three. He's off balance, in and out. He did square up. He looked like he was a little bit off balance. There's Reeves Sloan. Back out to Connor Bow. He's going to drive to the right. Score it. Connor Bow. Connor saw an opening and took it. Yes. He's only a sophomore. Back to a seven-point lead. How quickly it turned. Dulay's three would have cut it to two, and now it's seven. There's Lofton. Square up. Over to Dulay. He's going to drive. Just a lot of contact that's not called. Ryder Lions, surprise, surprise, ends up with the scrum, the ball in the scrum. Up top, Bowen, pump fake. I mean, my goodness, that's got to be something, right? There's Dulay. Oh, good we got a foul. Hey, we got a foul. My Folsom homerism's coming out. Connor Bow's going to be with a foul. Joe Von Dulay to the line. This is familiar spot. His familiar spot. He's at home. Makes the first one. Chobron's got a wiry flame. He's got like a well, – he did have that cut in the left hand. He's got a little bandage on his uh, – that's his right shooting shooting arm. Doesn't seem to be affecting him, though. Nope. Free throw good. Perfect. All right, full court pressure. Folsom cut it to five, 63-58. Two guards toggling the ball back and forth. Here goes Rice. Reed Sloan up top, Connor Bow. He's been way more aggressive. There he goes again with a slap. The right hand, score it. He had two at half. He's got 11 in the second half. He's got 13 points in the game off the bench for the Thunder. There goes Chase, driving the lane. And now we're going to cut a hand check. And it, they've let way more than that go at this point. I'm going to call that a Canyon Rice. Third team foul. No fouls on Folsom. Three on Rockland. There's Chase. Turned it down. Jack Shaw. Long. No good. And Tariq Lofton runs down the rebound. Folsom's going to reset. There goes Lofton. Up top. Back over to Chase Rollins. Guarded by Rice. Got the hand in his face to discourage the shot. Trying to cut, move the ball. There's Rollins going to shoot a long three. Short, no good. Lavinoff back in the game with the rebound. That's a tough possession. We're inside of four minutes. Folsom's still down seven. There goes Rice. Score it. And he's just going to the right. Rice and Bowen. 
have just slashed their way to yes. that uh, bucket in the second half. I would say I think that's a mark of a good team when you got to get your potentially fourth and fifth best guys. There's a long three. Ryder Lyons oh. with the rebound. Back up. Oh, and it goes out, but he got a foul. Another offensive rebound by Ryder Lyons, and that foul is going to be on Labrador. Four on Labrador. Ryder Lyons to the line. He has two points in the game. Olsen in danger territory, though. They are down nine. Free throw is perfect. LJ Bridges is going to return. We're going to get a timeout, Rockland. We're going to go 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. All right, Gene, what do you think? Folsom's down eight with 3 three eleven to go. I mean, obviously, got to value every possession. Defense has got to step up, need some stops. And that, if they get some, they'll be able to stay in there and uh, maybe pull this one out. All right. I think, John, you were pointing out earlier, Lavinow's got four fouls. He's probably going to come out of the game right now. But Rockland's offense has almost even looked better and more fluid it, without it, him in the game. It has. They move the, they move the ball around. They open up space. It allows their slashes to get to the hoop. So it, it look, they have a lot of weapons that they have at their exposure, uh, at, at their, uh, you know, in their, on their hands and uh, – uh, they can beat you in several different ways. Yeah. Like I said, it's a mark of a good team. I mean, I think Folsom probably going to come in like, we got to limit Lavernoff. We got to watch Morosco and Andrews since they scored 32. Gene pointed that out earlier. They each had 16 at 32. They were on pace for that. They had 16 at halftime combined. But out of nowhere, Canyon Rice and Connor Bow have gone off, both of them. Lions makes the second free throw after the timeout. It's a seven-point game, 67-60. A little bit of a zone trap here. Olsen trying to see if they can get some turnovers. If anything, though, this may slow down the drive so they can go into the bucket. Rockland normally doesn't take much time on the uh, shot clock. I see they, they got Andrews. He's cross-court pass. There's Rice inside. Oh, there's a block by LJ Bridges. Wow, they pushed it ahead. Here's Ray. Chase inside Jack Schull. Baseline jumper. In and out. Joe Von Dule rebound. Score the basket. Joe Von Dule. Offensive rebound. And that's 12. That's on Morosco. That's only his. And they quickly, and they're quickly bring in Lavernoff. Yeah, good point, John. Lavernoff. Coach Taylor said. I've seen us uh, at the end of games without him and with him, and I'll take this with him. I'll take those shots. Joe Von Dule, he's just a scrapper, man. He's only a sophomore at 6'5". Free throw is good. 67-63. Folsom going to make it interesting. Down four. Rockland walking it up against the zone, trapping 2-1-2, kind of amoeba zone. If anything, it's cut down the drives of the basket. Just a little bit of a different look. Out up top. There's Rice. Going to shoot a three. No good. Jovan battling. And who are we going to get? We're going to get the foul on Jovan. Jovan Dule. That's his third. Ryder Lyons was in front of him. Jovan Dule was on the other side of him, and Labanov still came down with a rebound. So, going to lob it back up top to Labanov. New shot clock. It's a good story there because got 35 more seconds. There's Andrews. Oh, that's a that could be a right call, but it is a late, late call. Andrews went with a scoop. The ball had hit the bottom of the backboard, and Ryder Lyons already had it before the whistle was blown. At some point, if you're that late with the call, you just you just go with the no call and hope nobody yells at you too much. 
because everybody in the gym knew that was pretty late. I think Coach Walls wanted to go to Secaucus on that one. <laughs> Good point, Gene. Josiah, that's a little bit of a turn of events there, because that was a four-point right, spread. Right out, right out. <laughs> All right, Andrews made the first free throw. It's five. Sec second free throw, good. Six-point lead, 69-63. A little bit of token pressure by Rockland. Chase Rollins bringing it up. Wilson's going to need a hoop here. There are two possessions, but six-point spread. Chase going to drive. No good. Gets his rebound. Oh! Well, that, I'll say that. I think that looked like a clean block from behind. And they are going to call it on Connor Bow, who I think was the person who got it clean from behind. But as I say many times before, I don't think it's a foul, but you know what? They didn't ask me. They just they made the call without my help. Perhaps they should. Yes. All you right. Know, I, wonder, I wonder, Marlon, how long Folsom's going to want to stay in this uh, zone D. Seems like they're going to have to maybe uh, take a couple chances to get over the hump down the yeah. stretch here. Cleaning up a little bit of moisture on the floor. The referee in the backcourt. I mean, they're icing, they're icing Chase, and now we're going to get a timeout, full timeout, Rockland. All right, 143 to go. Rockland with a six point lead, 69 63. We'll keep it here, see what John and Gene have to say while I check the stat sheet. John, what do you think Bolton's got to do? Well, you know, keep attacking the basket. It seems like when they try to uh, go go to the hoop, they're opening up holes and they're finding outlets and they're uh, and they have some good sharpshooters. So continue to do that. Gene, what do you think? I know you said uh, maybe get out of that zone. Uh, what do you think, Colts? We come back in the man to man, or going to stay in the zone? I mean, I know that backcourt of the Thunder is giving them a hard time, but. I'm just afraid that staying in the zone is going to allow the Thunder to knock too much time off that clock, limit the Bulldogs' opportunities on the other end. And I just think maybe they need to consider uh, going back to the man, yep. trying to get a couple of turnovers and change the momentum here. It's a little bit of risk-reward. You know, they, they slowed him down. The cuts to the basket, there's numerous times in a row, Andrews and Connor Bow drove to the hoop and scored without much resistance. The zone has definitely stopped that, but it's also eating the clock. I mean, probably it's one of the longer offensive possessions that Rockland has had have come in the last couple of minutes. We got 143 to go. Folsom is down six. Rockland is in the bonus. Every foul the rest of the way in the fourth quarter by Rockland will be two free throws for Folsom. Chase Rollins is at the line. First free throw, back rim, front rim, and in. You know what's amazing is with this tightly contested game, free throw shooting has been like abs absolutely outstanding for both yes, teams. Yes, they have. Chase has four free throws in the quarter. Four point game, 69 65. You're going to trap him in the corner. They got Mirage. He threw it. Oh, that's a nice pass. I thought it was going to be a. There goes Labranov. Score it. Boy, the game of inches. What a pass by. Chase or uh, Andrews from yeah. the corner. There goes Chase Rollins looking to dribble with the left. Oh. Right handed left, scooping in and a foul. That's one way to get a three point play. I mean, the Bulldogs are proving they're not going to be going away here tonight. Tough road environment, but they're right there. Chase has cut it to four, 71-67, free throw, perfect. 71-68, 122 to go. Here comes Morosco, he's gonna bring, replace Connor Bow. Connor Bow had a good stretch in the second half. Here we go, baseline, trying to get it in! The steal by Jack Shaw! Ryder, no good! Three Folsom players are there! No good, rebound! Oh my! Wow. Jovan Dulay. It's a scrum. 
Ryder Lyons went up for that ball multiple times. And on the rebound, Labrinov got it. That's where the long arms of Labrinov take the yeah. play. That's going to be four on Jovan. Only the third team foul. Fourteen. All right, they, they switched the foul. That's a good, fortunate turn of events. Fourth team foul, but it's only the second on Jack Shaw, which is better than the fourth on. Oh, there's a pass ahead. Little pressure. Backcourt. They get it across. Orozco and Andrews. It looks like they're Coach Wall wants to go to that same zone. There's a lane. Oh, you got the foul. Got a whistle. That was Andrews again in the lane. And that's on Joe Vaughn. So now he does have four. No, that's four. That's a big blow for. Uh, I thought they just waved that off and gave it to 14. Yeah. I'm not I'm sure. Not so sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But if the Folsom scorekeeper and the official scorekeeper don't know, then that's Andrews. Free throw is good. Gives him a four-point lead with 102 to go. No need to panic here. Got a minute to go. Plenty of time. All is well. I will say they went they went back to the man, and Andrews immediately went to the hoop. He didn't seem too worried about burning clock. Oh, my. Oh, rebound. Labrinov scored, and he's fouled. The long arms of Labrinov in the last minute here has caused – a possession to go Rockland's way and a, a field goal here and with a chance for a three-point play. Wow, what a turn of events. It's a two-point game. No good, but Folsom gets the rebound. Still four po a six-point game. 74-68, Folsom down six. We're inside of a minute. There goes Chase, a lot of dribble. Over to LJ Bridges. Kaiser Bowen going to turn it down, trying to get a three. There's Jack Shaw for three. Back rim, no good. Labanoff tips it to himself. Knocked away. Chase, pump fake for three. No good. Ryder Lions fight for it. La Rockland has it in the backcourt. They're trapping. Morosco gets away. Oh, he turned the ball over. Oh, it's going to be off Folsom. I crazy. This is the part where this announcer is going to go crazy because, like, why are they going so fast? The shot clock is turned off. There's only 20 seconds to go. Rockland very fortunate to hold on to that ball. In the most critical moments, the Rockland, the big man, showed up and uh, made his presence felt. Yeah, who's saying they might be better without him? <laughs> Their offense ran. That's the beauty of saving him for the end of the game. You knew in those possessions. Yep. He got a big offensive rebound, uh, right. extend the possession, give him more points, and then he's gotten a couple. And actually, I'll just say this. He's taller than everybody, but that's a very athletic play. He Absolutely. tipped the ball to himself. Absolutely. He was Absolutely. in traffic. He tipped it away. He knew where he was tipping it to. Hey, after watching this, Rockland is a very multifaceted team. They can beat you in a number of ways, yeah. which is good down the in the playoffs and down the stretch. I will say this. Folsom showed up tonight. I expected this one to be a, a tough one for them, and they Absolutely. are right there. Absolutely. You know, I, to be ashamed I know them. it's, uh, you know, ifs and buts, but, I mean, a couple of falls here or there, a loose ball, I a finish. Folsom plays like this the rest of the season. They're going to be hurt from. Yep. Rockland going to take it in. 20.1 to go. All they got to do is hold on to the ball. They can't get it in. They're going to call a timeout. Good defense by Paulson. I don't know what the excitement was about. A lot of, a lot of activity. All right, let's set the stage. 20.1, Rockland, the clock is their friend. All they got to do is hold on to the ball. Both teams have five team fouls. 
Again, we've talked about this earlier. The new rule, normally it was seven and a half. Now it's 15 fouls in the quarter, and you're going to shoot, and there's no more bonus one-on-one. -on -one. It's two shots. So Folsom, if the ball gets in there, I'm almost immediately going to have to foul and hope that Rockland misses their free throws. And they're going to need some help down six. But that couple of turn of events right there, when the uh, it started on the – they were down two, and Andrews drove, and he was bumped by Ryder Lions. And, you know, they could call it or didn't call it. The ball hit the bottom of the backboard. Lions had it and started to dribble, and then the whistle came. A little, a little tardy. It was a little, uh, it was a little tardy. Here we go. Rockland, see if they can get the ball in bounds. Inside, uh, Andrews are going to try to chase him down, and they finally got the foul call. And that's going to be on Ryder. I think that's going to be it for him. We're going to put Brawley in the game, number 22. Andrews is going to go to the line. He has 18 right now in the game. At 11 and a half, he only has... There's number 19. He's one free throw, and that is going to make it at least a three-possession game because now it's a seven-point spread. Second free throw, good. 20 for Andrews and an eight-point lead, 76-68. Rockland pressing, which is good. It makes them take up some more time. LJ Bridges for three. Back rim, no good. Rebounded by Reeves. Sloan, they're just going to dribble it out. It's Canyon Rice. Going to push it ahead. They're going to dribble. Coach Taylor's already on the court. That means this game's over. <laughs> All right. What a game. I will say this. This is guarantees that Rockland's going to stay atop of the Sierra Foothill League, which is quite an accomplishment. Our final score here tonight in Rockland. Rockland 76, Folsom 68. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. The fall season is here and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mic today and let your voice be heard. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Boy, they cleared that, that scoreboard house. Yeah, they did clear the score, but we're back here in Rockland. If you're at the game and you don't know what the score is, I turn the scoreboard off, but we know the final. Rockland 76, Folsom 68, in a game that was much closer than an eight-point spread, but free throws down the stretch will do that. So we're going to wrap up. I'll give you the quick point totals, and then we'll see who our uh, player of the game was for both of our guest commentators who did an outstanding job, Mr. John Garofalo and Mr. Gene Endicott. For Folsom first, 
Uh, Ryder Lyons had four. His story is always more than just points, but he finished with four. Ethan Beregi had five, including a late three in the fourth quarter that gave Bull some hope. Chase Rollins had 22 points, uh, 13 in the second half. Kaiser Bowen, a little bit of a mystery story there. He had 11, was huge in the first half, did not score in the second half and finished with 11. LJ Bridges had two. And then my personal favorite, Jovan Dulé, Mr. Scrapper, rebounder, a little bit of everything. He fouled out of the game, but he led Bolson with 24 points. For Rockland, Canyon Rice, did, Canyon Rice did not score in the first half, but he went off in the third quarter. He had 12, including three threes, so he finished with 14. Isaiah Elston had four. Morosco, the one side of the dynamic backcourt, had seven. Kind of a quiet night for him, but Josiah Andrews was not quiet. He finished with 20 to lead Rockland. And Connor Bow off the bench, only two points, but finished with 13, 13, two points at half, finished with uh, 13 total in the game. And then the big man, the 6'8 junior, Mark Lavinoff, just everywhere when Folsom didn't need him to be with the ball. He finished with 16. All right, let's go first. Gene, player of the game. What did you think? What are your final thoughts? And who was your favorite player of the game tonight? I got to go with Josiah Andrews. Set the tone with his um, fast pace. Was relentless pretty much the whole game, even down the stretch. 20 points. Provided the leadership I thought the Thunder needed to pull this one out. In general, I I think the Thunder's depth came into play tonight. They're a strong team, built built for a good run in the playoffs, I think. Folsom also, I could see doing some damage, uh, but tonight the Thunder was just a little bit better. Yep, I agree. Good comments, Gene. Uh, I saw Josiah Andrews play last year. I was very impressed with him as a freshman. He's even better. He's only a sophomore, folks. He's got 20 points. He's the most dominant offensive player for Rockland and a team that scores quite a bit, typically. And there were times where there were there was nobody on the court who could guard him. He was going wherever he wanted to do and breaking down the Folsom defense. All right, John, Mr. Garofalo, your final thoughts, your player of the game. Well, uh, I like. I really was impressed with Josiah Andrews. You know, a lot to like there. But I really thought uh, the tide turned for Rockland when Connor Bow stepped it up in the second half, especially when the big man, Lavernoff, was out. And it really opened up their offense. Um, he went to the hole on multiple occasions, and uh, he really provided an excellent spark for Rockland. And it just goes to show how strong – this Rockland team is, and guess what? They're all coming back another year yep. for the most part. So yep. I was very impressed with uh, Bo's contributions today. Yeah, Connor Bo only a sophomore. He'll be back. Lavinoff, the big man, is a junior. He'll be back. They'll lose Morosco as a senior. They'll use Canyon Rice as a senior. They got a great mix. But we won't talk about losing anybody because there's still a lot of season left. There's two league games next week. The playoffs, well, before I do that, I'll wrap up and say uh, I'll give you my player of the game. And just because I'm a homer, I'm going to pick a Folsom player. And I'm going to go with number 24, who had 24, Jovan Dulé. I'm continuously impressed. He's a 6'5 sophomore. He's 185. He's wiry, and he's given away 40 pounds to Lavernoff. And he's, guys are more developed and bigger, look stronger. But he's relentless on the boards. He hustles, and he's just a scrapper. I mean, you just, as a coach, you would look at that and go, I want three of those guys on my team because I know I'll be in every game because he's never going to quit. But he had a great game tonight and lived at the free throw line, and uh, I think he only missed one free throw, if I remember. So he had 24 to lead Folsom. Chase Rollins, we probably come to expect that for him. He had 22. We're not downplaying that. But uh, I'm going to give a special shout-out to Joe Von Dulé. All right. We have two league games to go on Super Bowl Sunday. They're going to announce the playoff brackets for the Sac Joaquin section, and then it'll be on. We'll be on to that second season. Uh, Rockland more than likely is going to be in Division Two with those Jesuit Marauders, while Folsom will be in uh, Division One. Barring a collapse, Folsom will still make the, the playoffs. Uh, they're right now in third place, but they have a big game next week because they're going to play Whitney. 
And right now, uh, Folsom is four and four in the league, 15 and 10 overall. So that's not looking typical Folsom standards, but it is what it is. They're young. They have a game tomorrow against Venture Academy, a non-league game that will help. And then with the last two games, they're going to play at Whitney and at Oak Ridge. That will wrap up their schedule. All right, the two-game losing streak is over for Rockland. I know people might have been worried about that. They won the first 23 in a row, then they lost two. All right, we're going to wrap it up. It was a blast. John, Gene, and Marlin are signing off. Our final score here tonight in Rockland, the Rockland Thunder 76, the Folsom Bulldogs 68. Good night, everybody, and drive home safely. Hey, we got one under our belt, man. That was awesome, man. That was. Thanks for letting us do cool. that. That was cool. Yes. Exit. So I want the link.